I was here, Mob Fam actually aired it live, um, the apology, and we had the community come in and um, have a listen with us. We had a um, breakfast and stuff, so there was a lot of um, people, there was a lot of crying, there was some, um, and you know, with that apology, um, brought up a lot of feelings. And um, so for me, it was a time to think about my grandmother and her t- being taken to Palm Island and some of the family didn't find their mother until see them until she was like 40, so they were like 45, but she knew them instantly when she saw them. And her going away and the pain of being separated from country and, um, you know, never being able to really stay over there and coming back here and how she just loved our hills. Yeah. You know, she just pined for, you know, the country. Um, the pain that I really seen with my auntie was um, she was taken away from Cloncurry. She said my grandmother was actually cooking them dinner on the Cloncurry River. Yeah. And um, the police turned up and just took them away. She said she was put into a taxi and she was five years old and she was crying and that was the last that she remembers. And all the stuff is trans, um, tra- transgenerational, mm-hmm. you know. Um, you know, so you're always affected by it, even though I'm you know, on my um, great granddaughter, and you think about all the other people that you know. I was thinking about my uh, grandma, my dad's mum, who worked in the Baduri pub when she was a very young woman, and as I think about what it must have been like for her as well. You know, mm-hmm. while it was a the apology, I thought it was wonderful, but you just couldn't help cry for your family and for everyone that had been through well, that. Our people, they tell stories, but they tell the funny stories and they laugh mm-hmm. about it. But beneath that is dreadful stories. Mm. Mm.